Ink changes can be so annoying, so what if we had an inkless printer that was also mobile? Meet the Famomo Thermal Printer, this is a Bluetooth portable device which allows you to print documents, tattoo sketches and schedules on the go. To anybody that may be new here, my name is Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so this is available on Amazon for £187, reduced from £250, so we're off to a great start there. It also has 4 star rating out of 106 reviews, and all of the 1 stars I could see were faulty, they either couldn't charge them up or they couldn't get them to connect. As is all good, it comes with this little grey velvet string bag, a couple of USB-C leads, female USB-A to USB-C, and a USB-A to USB-C. Finally, a quick start guide and test paper, and the printer itself. It's a nice, slim, compact design. The one I have here is in green, but you can also get this in black. It's mostly made from plastic, except for the internal components. It feels very well made though. We've got a USB-C port on the rear. This is for charging and for connecting to your computer or your laptop. It's also got metal hinges, so you should have a long life out of this. The lid doesn't always need to be open anyway. It's just for the anti-jam. We'll take a look at that in just a second. It's got a fair bit of weight to it for what it is. It's not too heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. The edges are just plain. There's no buttons or controls or anything on them, but they're nice and smooth and flush. On the bottom, there's two rubber feet to help reduce vibrations and to stop it from slipping when in use. We have two white push buttons, one each side. You press these in, this releases the catch on the lid. This is a very simple and basic design, just consists of the paper ramp, the guide rails and the anti-jam system. The anti-jam feature is just a rubberized roller with a cog on the left hand side that you turn. If it chews up any of your papers or anything while in use, you just spin this cog here, this spins the roller which would free up your paper. It feels very well built and sturdy, it's not got any of that creakiness or anything that you sometimes get with cheaper plastic products. Then we have the thermal mechanism and the battery will be behind that on the inside. Also included are 10 sheets of thermal paper for test prints and general use. You can't use normal paper, you do need to use thermal paper for these kind of printers. This is A4 and I should have mentioned this is an A4 machine, although I believe you can get A2 and I also have a mini version which is the Famo Q30S. Okay, let's take a look at the app then. All you need to do is open up your camera, scan the QR code that's on the front of the printer or that's included in the quick start guide, and then install the Famomo application from the Google or the Apple stores. Select your language at the bottom, so it's English for me. Click install and wait for the download process. When you open the app for the first time, you can create an account or you can just use it as a guest. Adding the printer is simple, you just hold the button down for 3 seconds until you hear the printer chime, and then you click the printer icon in the top right corner. If nothing shows up here, you can either click search, or you can scan the QR code that's on the device. It's really simple to connect. From the home screen, we have a few options. We can choose to print documents from the web, images from our device, or scan with your camera. You need to be realistic about the quality here. Thermal printing still has a way to go in terms of resolution, but it's not too bad at all if I'm honest. Scanning documents with the camera needs to be in a well-lit area, and it needs to be a clear text, otherwise they don't turn out too good. The document tab has everything you'll need. It's got Word, text, PDF, and XL. And just before you print any photographs, you can select the number of copies and the thickness. Okay, now let's go and take a look at some of these prints then. I'm going to print off a schedule just to see how it looks. Any photos that are in your library will show up here. You could technically print any of them, but I'm just going to stick with this schedule for now. You also want to make sure that the paper is perfectly straight. If you get it in on a slight crooked angle, you might have a few issues later on. To be honest, it's a little louder than I expected, although I am stood right next to it with the camera. 
The print quality is absolutely fine. I'm more than happy with this. I could use these quite easily. Let's try something with a little more detail then that will be more intense on the printer. I have this sketch of a German Shepherd or Alsatian. Let's see how this one turns out. Also, a key point of interest, you do need to use thermal paper. And it also has a little message on the sheet saying this side up. It does need to be correct. If you put it in upside down, you won't get the result you're after. This image took slightly longer and it sounded like more load on the machine. This could affect the battery life so just bear that in mind. But again I'm more than happy with this image quality. This would be perfect for tattoo sketches and things like that. If we go back to the home screen, we've also got print from the web. This allows you to print from your social media accounts. You've got everything on here like Pinterest, Google. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with this printer overall. If you're someone like a landlord or a business person and you need things like tenancy agreements or contracts on the go, then this is perfect. Even for things like tattoo sketches, I would say this is absolutely ideal. Build quality is very impressive. Like I said earlier, there's no creaks or anything like that that you sometimes get with plastic constructions. The build quality feels really solid. It's got a little bit of weight to it for its size, but it's a fairly nice sleek design. It's got a good battery life. I've done about 15 prints with it now in total, and the battery's still going strong. It's very user friendly and easy to use. The app is free. Overall, I can't really find any fault with it. If I had one complaint, I wish the carry case was a hard case. It's quite an expensive item and if you're going to be carrying it around, then you don't really want it in a velvet bag, you would prefer a hard case. But other than that, I can't find any faults with this, I think it's pretty good. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.